so it's almost creepy the way bad luck just seems to follow me everywhere I go. Some of my friends even say I'm jinxed. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. They don't really say I'm jinxed, but let's just say I don't blame them for not wanting to be around me for long periods of time. I guess maybe they think my jinxonitis will rub off on them and they'll get bad luck. Maybe just being in the same room as me will give you bad luck. Maybe actually looking at me will make your house fall down. Maybe watching this video of me will make you die in 24 hours. Maybe. So, I've been thinking about how bad luck just seems to follow me wherever I go. What's the actual name for the problem that I have and the other percent of the population like me? Are we cursed? I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, we get it. We have problems too, bruh. But my bad luck is abnormally large. I mean, sometimes it almost seems like, Hey, world, give me all your spare bad luck. I'm cursed. I was born for this. Yeah, okay, I, I don't do that, and I seriously hope that any other Jinxonitis patients out there don't do it either, but sometimes it seems like it. But seriously, sometimes it seems like bad luck just is always lovingly there for me to ruin my life. Hey, I like you. Will you go out with me? It's dying, man. What's up? I mean, come on, right? It's like I'm a magnet with a North Pole, and bad luck is a magnet with a South Pole. Alright, that was kind of a weird way to put it. But hey, what did you expect? I'm weird. But wait, not just people can be jinxed. Items can be jinxed. So maybe it's not me that's jinxed. Maybe it's some item I carry around with me all the time that's jinxed. Well, I can't really think of anything that I carry around with me all the time. Wait, what about my clothes? I mean, I never go anywhere without my clothes. So maybe it's my clothes that's jinxed and not me at all. I finally figured it out. I thought I was the one that was jinxed. It's not me after all. My clothes are jinxed. So I'm gonna go. Yeah. You know what? Can that idea. I really don't need to become the laughing stock of the school. On the other hand, it would be just like me, right? I'm jinxed after all. Hey, it's the boys with the jinxed clothes. But the real question is, is there a cure? I mean, without spells and chanting. Well, jinx in the dictionary is defined as a person or thing that brings bad luck. One difference between that definition and me is that often it'll bring me a bunch of good luck and then dump a bunch of bad luck on me so it raises up my spirits and then leaves me back down in the dumps, which is about a ton worse than the other option. Almost like getting the first few numbers of a lottery ticket right and then getting the very last number wrong. And the winning numbers are... One, six, one, two, four, four point five. Yes, I win! But maybe I'm not cursed or jinxed. Maybe there's a scientific reason why I'm like this. Like maybe I'm a dumbbell. Okay, maybe not, but maybe yes. The fact that I'm alone in a room yelling at no one questions my sanity, doesn't it? But no, I think a better explanation could be that I am a pessimist. Maybe I'm looking so hard at my failures that I can't see when I win. Maybe a lot of people have this problem. Maybe I'm not alone. I should start thinking more positively. Hey, I like you. Will you go out with me? Yeah, yeah. I'll call you later. Okay. Hey, dude. So your cat set did not set the lab on fire. Thanks. Did you see that? All my problems disappeared. This is terrific. I think I'm gonna go hang out with some friends and show off my brand new unjinxiness. And if that's not a word, then it should be. Farewell. Oh, for crying out loud. This is, this is great! This is great! Huh? I never knew walruses could get Ebola. Karen likes you. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe if you'd like more videos of me talking about how dumb my life is. I'll have a new video every Thursday.